Okay, now we're going to move on to the next part of Chapter 3. We talked about prepaid expenses in the first video. Now we're going to talk about unearned revenues. Unearned revenues are very common. Let's say that we have some rental space, a building that we rent out sometimes to some of our uh, customers or somebody, and let's say that it rents for $1,000 a month. Let's say a new person comes and wants to rent it, but we don't know them very well, and we say, well, you know what, you got to pay six months up front. We're not just going to rent it to you on a month-to-month -month basis right now. So you have to prepay six months. So they'll prepay, but to us it's not a prepaid, it's unearned revenue because we're not prepaying, they're prepaying, okay? So let's say that on December, uh, let's say 15th, halfway through the month, they pay us $6,000, $1,000 a month for six months. So we're going to receive cash of $6,000 and then we're going to have unearned unearned rent, $6,000, okay? So there's our journal entry. Unearned rent is a liability because we have to provide a service to them. We have to provide this space for them to rent, okay? So this is a liability. Prepaid expenses, these are assets. Unearned revenues are liabilities, okay? They're kind of opposite of each other. If one company has a prepaid, the other one has the unearned, okay? So, now, what's going to happen on December 31st? I think this is pretty straightforward. Have we earned some of this money? Well, we earn $1,000 a month. Well, we started on the 15th, so we've earned half of a month. We've earned $500. So, what we're going to do is we're going to reduce our unearned reduce our unearned rent and what we're going to credit is earned rent revenue. Okay, a credit to revenue count, our earned rent, or you could just say rent revenue, a credit to that account increases it. So we've recognized revenue. Okay, that's pretty straightforward, I think. A lot of times people um, think about magazine subscriptions. If you purchase a magazine subscription, when that company, when the publisher gets that money, that's unearned magazine subscription because they haven't sent you anything yet. As they send you magazines, they earn a portion of that money that you sent them. Same thing with the Phoenix Suns. If you are a season ticket holder to the Cardinals or the Suns, when you pay that money, that's unearned ticket sales for the Suns or uh, for the Cardinals or ASU or whoever it might be, or if it's a concert, same thing. That's unearned ticket sales. Then when the concert's taken place or the game has been played, you recognize the revenue. It follows the same pattern. Cash, unearned ticket sales. When the event takes place, you reduce your ticket sales, your unearned ticket sales, and you recognize revenue. Okay? I think that's very straightforward. So unearned, I hope, are a little bit easier than prepaids. Prepaids aren't hard. The hardest part is the accumulated depreciation part. But unearns are very straightforward. Now we're going to go on to the last two type of adjustments. There's not going to be time to put them on this video. Um, Google video only allows about a 10 minute segment each time. So I'm going to do another video for the last two parts, the last two adjustments that we're going to look at. And those two are the easiest adjustments. Okay, good luck with this next part.